Hey everybody, it's Steve back with some more DMX programming tips. Thanks for all your positive comments. Keep them coming. Today we're going to learn about programming lasers. And this is one of these cheap Chinese lasers, I should say inexpensive lasers, that you can order on eBay. I bought mine years ago and it was around $250 and you can get them for half of that now. Anyway, the way that these are set up is that you can control them with the DMX controller. You have to make sure that the starting address on the controller matches the starting address on the laser. That's the very first thing. On this Obey Chauvet 40 controller, fixture one is starting address one. So we have to make sure that the laser is set to a starting address of one. And that's pretty simple. It just has a uh, dip switch on the back. And the way that this one works is when dip switch one is set to on and the rest are set to off, it makes it a starting address of one. So it matches the Chauvet. Uh, so once we have them on the same starting address, then the way that this laser is set up, and I think all of them are probably quite similar, is that it has seven channels. And each channel on the laser has a different function. And those channels are controlled by these faders on the controller. So on this laser, channel one is the mode that it's in. And that mode is for picking whether it uh, projects static patterns, dynamic patterns, whether it's sound active, auto active, so you can put it into different patterns. Uh, channel two is once you're once you've picked dynamic patterns, channel two is how you pick those patterns, which I'll show you in just a minute. And then channel three, four, five, and six uh, control those patterns in different ways, which we'll look at. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, fixture one, which is the laser, and we're going to pick dynamic patterns uh, because they're more interesting than static patterns. And so the way that this works is if we go to any DMX value between 100 and 149, we'll be in dynamic pattern mode. So we're going to do that. We're going to go here to 100 and there, but 149. So now we're in dynamic pattern mode. Now when we go to channel 2, this is where we're going to pick our patterns as it sends out different values, it picks different patterns. So we're going to go to vertical line mode, which is any number between, or any value between 155 and 159, it'll be in vertical line mode. So I'm going to go to 100. So now we're on uh, 100 and 56, so now we're in vertical line uh, mode. Now channel 3 and channel 4, they control the x-axis and the y-axis. So this is x-axis, which puts those patterns so they move way far apart or keep them closer together. And then the y mode just moves it up and moves it down. Channel 5 is the scanning speed. So you can slow the speed way, way down, which is kind of a cool effect, or turn it way up so it turns into the lines. And then channel six is actually the speed of the pattern. So the pattern will move very slowly with a high value, and with a low value, uh, it rotates through the pattern quickly. So let's set this up. Let's call this scene one. And we're going to go into program mode. And let's add this to scene one. That way it's going to memorize this. And now let's go back to channel two. And we're going to pick a different dynamic pattern. So any uh, values between 25 and 29 are a pattern called circle roll. So there's 25. So this pattern is called circle roll. And again, I can set the X parameter, moves farther and farther apart, or it does the pattern closer together. 
Uh, you'll also notice that one of my green lasers is uh, very dim. I guess that's what you get when you buy a cheap Chinese laser. Uh, it used to work. It's getting dim, but I've had it years and years, so I guess it's okay. Uh, and then again, whoops, the y-axis on channel four. So we'll move it back down. And now we will go. Let's pick a scanning speed that's around that speed. That looks pretty good. And then this is our pattern speed, which will slow it down. So now let's add that to scene two. Now we're going to come out of program mode. puts us in blackout mode, come out of blackout mode, and turn fixture one off, and there's the scene one that we programmed, and there's scene two that we programmed. So that's basically it. Uh, there's a lot of different patterns built into this laser, and you can adjust the parameters of those patterns and save each one as a scene, and then um, put the scenes into chases. And uh, that's pretty much it. So thanks again for watching. Uh, and we're going to turn out the lights and turn on the hazer and uh, watch, watch the, these uh, lasers, because uh, they, they always look better when it's dark with some haze. So anyway, thanks. We'll see you next time.